Okay guys, quick update with Bitcoin. By the way, I'm going to be taking maybe three or four days off from making videos. I want to take some time to work on some new charts and update some current charts, but I will be active in Discord. So uh, in the previous video, I, I was telling you guys we're too long, we're too short, and I was explaining why I think it's very possible uh, we could have a crash soon. So we're going to cover all of that in this video, and we're going to pick the coin winners from the previous video. Uh, as I said, all you had to do was like, a comment, subscribe in the last video, and in this video, I would pick the two coin winners to win a uh, one of these each to win one ounce uh, this one ounce silver coin so i will pick the winners in the previous video in this video and same thing guys if you like comment subscribe in this video and the following video i'll pick the two coin winners from this video so we'll do all of that guys so uh let's get on to uh these support resistance levels and show you why all the conditions i believe are being met for the next possible major leg down for bitcoin and the stock market so the previous video I put up, I'll put a link in this video now if you want to check it out. Uh, and this video is actually me recapping another video. I suggest you go back and watch maybe the last four or five videos where I covered all of this. But I was making it very clear that if we drop, your point too long was 28,600. If we pushed up, a great point too short was on 29,800. But keep in mind, we could get a wick just above uh, to take out some liquidity, just above 30K. That is how it played out. And as usual, guys, I update everyone in Discord when I enter a trade. Uh, if you do want to get access to, to Discord and these live charts, you can sign up. Links pinned for his comment description. Make sure you email me through the website to get access to the Discord. So I'm currently in my short right now. I am using uh, $3,000 at 30x. I'm currently up $1,257. If guys, if you want to sign up for BitGet to trade, my link is pinned in the first comment and description. I also have a tutorial teaching me how to trade on BitGet. Uh, set up a short, a long, set up a stop loss, just your stop loss, set up trigger orders. If you can watch that tutorial video, I'll put a link up to it now. Also, if you're interested, if you're in the U.S. and you're interested in uh, trading uh, using futures and you don't have to worry about VPN or KYC, CoinCatch is a great option. If you want to sign up for that, my link pinned, is pinned in the first comment description. So guys, let's get on to this. So as I said, uh, you can see right down here, we, we tested this twice, 28,600, 28,600. That was our support. As I mentioned, uh, you see all the, the meat of the candle is below this line here. So that was the point too short. And what I did was I shorted uh, around 29700 around there and then added to my shortest price pushed up because I did expect it's possible to get a wick up and that is how it played out. So your current uh, support level to watch is around 28700 Your most critical resistance above is around 29900 Your current uh, resistance just above is 29450 And your resistance just above that is 29600 if 28,683 breaks, your next critical support level below is around 28,250. And it's crazy how these FIB channels are so accurate because you'll notice, I'll show you in just a minute, but 28,300 around that area is our macro support trend line, which I'll show you in just a second. Uh, so uh, this is a J1 chart. I was talking about this FIB channel line in the previous few videos, talking about this is a great point to short. See, we did get this little scam wick above, take out liquidity, and then we're back below. It's at 29,800 is a very key resistance level. Uh, this is just another chart, the A1 chart, and this, this actually nailed the wick coming up around 29,950. And then this is also our support around 28,754. So 28,800 is our current support. Once that breaks, then I think we'll be testing, and this is what I'm talking about here. This You see this is our macro support level. Support, 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 and this will be our support again. So around, again, you see how that matches? 28. 28,387 matches right here. 28,300 around that area matches perfectly with the support level. So once 28,300 around that area breaks, we're going to be breaking this macro support level, which means we have a lot of downside. And as I've been telling you guys, uh, this ring here on this chart, I believe that this ring is going to send price down. This is on the weekly. We've got about four days and eight hours left for the next candle open. I believe it's very possible that if we just ride down this ring, Maybe we cross it and we ride down it, but I think it's more likely we ride down before it. We'll have to see how this plays out. Now, it is possible we could pump. It is a pivot ring. It just means expect a pivot. I, I find it very unlikely price is just going to move sideways. You can I covered this in the previous video. Every time we cross one of these rings right here, we get a major move. You see that we moved up. The pivot was sideways. So since we're going sideways, we should get a pivot up or down, but it seems likely down. And the reason for this, and I'll cover this in just a sec, it's NVIDIA. I'll show you that chart, how it played out, as well as the Dow. Uh, in a previous video, I was telling you that if if price pushed up, that would be bearish. If price dropped, that would be bullish. And price pushed up, so to, so to me, that seems like that's going to be very bearish. 
And the reason I was saying this is because we have a lot of liquidity down around uh, 28K. So for them to, to take out this liquidity, they'd have, there'd be a lot of selling pressure to break through this point, which could lead to a crash because once we break 28K, we're breaking below this key uh, support level right here. So again, so what they did was they pushed price up, take out this liquidity, and pretty soon they're going to bring it down, take out this liquidity. And when they do, I think that's going to lead to a crash. So that's what I meant in that video where I said up is bearish and down is bullish. Uh, and I talked about this in video chart, guys. I was telling you that I think part of what's going to cause this next crash is going to be the AI bubble popping. And if you've been following me talking about this NVIDIA chart, you know, when, I, when I first talking about it, uh, every time we hit this ring, I said you go long, hit the ring, go long, hit the ring, go long, hit the ring, go long. I said once we cross the ring, that will be the start of the drop. And I believe that other tech tech companies will be dropping as well. This this ring right here was showing us when it was going to happen. You can see as soon as price crossed this ring, Nvidia is becoming straight down. You can also see the Dow Jones. Uh, I, this line has been here for over a year now. Look how perfectly we found resistance here, right at 35,000. Again, this is the Dow Jones, 35,635. Uh, 35, 35,650 and 35,680. So your current resistance is 35,696. Your next major support for the Dow is around 34,835. That's a pretty substantial drop. But again, we maybe this is a retracement. Maybe we go higher after that. But this could potentially be a top for a much larger drop. And again, if the AI bubble pops, which I think is possible, this is this ring is an indicator showing that it's happening now. You know these these big companies. Uh, Microsoft, Apple, uh, what Amazon, all of these these uh, big companies, these, these few big companies are actually keeping the stock market up. Once once they start selling off, which I think big money has already been selling, soon retail is going to start selling and panicking, and then I think the rest of the markets will come down. So it's very possible the Dow could be topped, and this could be it for, for the AI craze. It could be down from here. And that's part of what I was saying. All the conditions have been met for a crash. So again, that's what you need to pay attention to. Um, it's possible the Dow has topped. It's possible the tech bubble or the AI bubble has popped. And again, we have a lot of liquidity below to take out this liquidity around 28K. That would be a lot of selling pressure, which means it could drop quite a bit. And once it takes out this liquidity, right? Once they take out this liquidity, that means we'll be breaking below this key support level and this is a pretty large structure you see this looks like a, a huge rising wedge so once you break, break below 28,300 we're looking at one hell of a drop so guys that pretty much sums that up let's go ahead and pick the coin winners let me make sure i did not uh, skip anything didn't plan this out too well uh, that pretty much covers it but just keep in mind guys that this chart right here this is this is the next major chart to watch uh, I do believe it's very possible the next day, the next week the candle will open red and we could just ride down this ring. It's possible we could cross this ring and ride down it, but I do think it's more likely that we'll be riding down this ring as a pivot, again pivot downwards, and that's just because um, seeing how Nvidia crossed this ring and dropping and seeing the Dow topped out and obviously I'm sure you guys noticed the DXY has been pushing up. So guys, let's pick these coin winners. Uh, so again, if you want to uh, be qualified to win one of these uh, one ounce silver coins, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment. In the next video, I'll pick the winners. So the winners of the previous video, let's go ahead and knock that out. I've already copied the uh, link from the previous video. I have, I've never used this one before, hopefully it works. So it says pick a winner. Oh, I gotta do, I'm not a robot thing. All right. Okay, so the two winners are K Soon Soon and Lee Mister. So you are the two coin winners. So uh, in order to claim your coin, your coin, all I need you to do is email me through my website. And guys, do not fall for scams in the comment section. I'll never ask you to contact me in a comment and on YouTube. Just go to my website. The link's pinned in the first comment description. Email me through the website. Uh, let me know that you won the coin. I will uh, send you a code and then have you edit your comment, adding that code to the end of your comment. That'll confirm that you are the one that left that comment. And then I'll get your shipping information and ship these coins out to you. And by the way, we pay for shipping. So guys, that's pretty much it. If you do want to sign up and get access to these live charts, websites, optocrypto.com, links pinned in the first comment description. I have tutorials teaching my charting method. And uh, of course, you want to access Bitcoin charts and stocks. And again, guys, if you want to sign up for Bitget, 
And that link's pinned in the first comment and description. Make sure you check out the tutorial. The tutorial that's also pinned in the first comment description as well. And if you're in the U.S. and you don't have to worry about VPN and KYC, uh, check out CoinCat. Uh, the link to sign up for that's also pinned in the first comment description as well. Well, that's it, guys. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.